Today, President Biden will be on hand as three fallen soldiers are returned home. 46-year-old Sergeant William Rivers, 24-year-old Sergeant Kennedy Sanders, and 23-year-old Sergeant Brianna Moffitt. They were killed at the hands of an Iran-backed militant in, in a drone attack. This was at a U.S. base in Jordan on Sunday. All three served in the Army Reserves and came from Fort Moore in Georgia. President Biden honoring the fallen soldiers during Thursday's National Prayer Breakfast. They risked it all, and we'll never forget the sacrifices and service to our country. Tom Dempsey is outside of the White House this morning. So, Tom, what can Americans expect to see during this incredibly somber moment? Hey, good morning, Kelly. Yeah, in just a few hours, President Joe Biden will be taking part in one of the most solemn moments a president can experience when he witnesses dignified transfer of three fallen United States soldiers who died over the weekend in Jordan during a drone attack. That uh, drone attack took place at a base in Jordan on Sunday, and it was carried out by uh, Iranian-backed militants, and it claimed the lives of 46-year-old Sergeant William Rivers, 24-year-old Specialist Kennedy Sanders, and 23-year-old Specialist Brianna Moffat. The uh, military lady later posthumously promoted Sanders and Moffat to sergeant. All three served in the Army Reserves and came from Fort Moore in Georgia. Uh, now, today's dignified transfer will take place at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware. Uh, the solemn service occurs whenever a U.S. military member dies while serving overseas. Honor Guards will be part of the transfer today, and we'll see a U.S. Army members carry the flag-draped transfer cases while a, a senior member, a ranking member, presides. Their deaths are really highlighting the dangers facing the United States military in the Middle East. Since mid-October, the Pentagon has reported over 160 attacks on U.S. forces in both Iraq and Syria. Following the drone attack on Sunday, the mother of 23-year-old specialist Brianna Moffat detailed the heartbreak of losing her daughter. It is just take your soul. It is just take your heart. And there's nothing you can do. It just know that we wasn't there to protect her. We wasn't there to to trade places with her. We wasn't, you know, we, we, we wasn't there for her. The mother added that her daughter will forever be her hero. But Kelly, we also know that uh, President Joe Biden has spoken with all the family members of the fallen soldiers and expressed his condolences. All the family members going to be at that uh, dignified transfer today have supported President Joe Biden being there. Kelly. And we are so grateful for all of their service. Tom Dempsey, thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.